Do you know about LK99? I am aware of LK99. LK99 is a substance speculated to be a room temperature superconductor and appears bluish black in color. It possesses a modified hexagonal lattice structure with minor copper doping within a lead antimony framework. This material was initially discovered and synthesized by a research team led by Shokri Lee and Jihoon Kim at Korea University. The research team claims that LK99 exhibits superconducting properties at temperatures below 400 K, 127 degrees Celsius, under ambient pressure. The discovery of LK99 sparked significant interest in the scientific community, but as of now, its superconducting properties have not been confirmed. The synthesis of LK99 and the verification of its superconducting behavior have not been replicated through peer assessment or by independent research teams. While the claim by the discovering team that LK99 is a room temperature superconductor has gained wide attention, the mainstream scientific community has shown skeptical responses due to notable discrepancies between the claim and the published paper, including substantial deviations from existing literature values. Several independent research teams are attempting to reproduce the findings of the Korean research team. Given the relative simplicity of the material synthesis process, results are expected within August 2023. The initial research data associated with this material discovery has been uploaded to R14. Professor Shopee Lee asserted that the preprint paper uploaded is incomplete, and co-author Heimtak Kim claimed issues with a section of the paper. As of now, whether LK99 is a room temperature superconductor remains uncertain. It appears that awaiting the replication results from independent research teams is necessary to determine its validity. Does the magnetic field in the presence of resistance appear in the form of waves? Yes, even in places with resistance, a magnetic field can manifest itself in the form of waves. A magnetic field is a physical quantity generated in locations where current flows. Its direction and magnitude are determined by the direction and magnitude of the current. In the case of a wire carrying a current, the magnetic field is generated parallel to the direction of the current. The magnetic field is a form of electromagnetic wave that arises from the interaction between the electric field and the magnetic field as they change over time. Electromagnetic waves can propagate through a vacuum, and their speed is equal to the speed of light. When current flows through a place with resistance, a portion of the current is dissipated as heat. This causes the intensity of the magnetic field to weaken, but it still appears in the form of waves. In locations with resistance, the waves of the magnetic field propagate more slowly than the speed of electromagnetic waves. If so, is the magnetic field formed outside the object in the form of a straight line or an ellipse in the absence of resistance? Yes, in places without resistance, a magnetic field is formed outside objects in a straight or elliptical shape. A magnetic field is a physical quantity generated in locations where current flows. Its direction and magnitude are determined by the direction and magnitude of the current. In the case of a wire carrying a current, the magnetic field is generated parallel to the direction of the current. The magnetic field is a form of electromagnetic wave that arises from the interaction between the electric field and the magnetic field as they change over time. Electromagnetic waves can propagate through a vacuum, and their speed is equal to the speed of light. In places without resistance, when current flows, a portion of the current is not consumed as heat. As a result, the intensity of the magnetic field becomes very strong, forming outside objects in a straight or elliptical shape. In locations without resistance, the waves of the magnetic field propagate much faster than the speed of electromagnetic waves. For example, if the ends of a wire carrying current are brought close together, the magnetic field forms outside objects in a straight shape. If the ends of the wire carrying current are moved farther apart, the magnetic field takes on an elliptical shape outside objects. 